number 13. Express this with a rational denominator, because just now it's irrational, and also give your answer in its simplest form, because that's staring out at you, that root 8, that root 8 can be simplified. You don't need as much as that stuck inside the square root. Some of that can just get out. So it just depends. When do you want to do it? Simplify it at the end or simplify it to start with? If you leave it to the end, then you would just say, right, to rationalise the denominator, multiply by root 8, and that's guaranteed to remove that root sign. So I'm left with 4 times root 8 on top, and root 8 times root 8 just gives you your 8 back again. And then 4 over 8 cancels to root 8 just over 2. But now there's the root 8. That root 8 has lurking inside of it a perfect square. That's 4 times 2. So that means that breaks into the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Now the square root of 4 is 2, but 2 is just stuck inside, that's the real third. So you've got 2 root 2 upon 2, they'll cancel, meaning the simplest answer you get for this lot is root 2. Seem to take quite a lot of writing, wasn't much to it really. What would be the alternative? The alternative would be to simplify it to start with. So 4 over and then break that root 8, you'd say, ah, root 8, wait, that's 4 2's, so that's 2 root 2. So what I've really got is 2 over root 2 and start from there. So multiply the top by root 2, multiply the bottom by root 2, and you've got 2 root 2 over 2, which comes to just root 2. Whichever way you like. And the last question, evaluate 8 to the power 5 upon 3. Well, it's just a case of knowing which part's which. The top's the power, the bottom's the root. And the roots are always found underneath. If that was a wee flower, those where the roots would be underneath. Now, so it's the cube root of 8. And then power 5, it's just a case of when would you do your power 5? Do you want to do your power 5 first and have to work out 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8? 8 8 8 I've already lost count. Or do the cube root first, which is more sensible, and then power 5. Well, the cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So I've still to do 2 to the power 5, but you can just use your power of 2 calculator for that. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So the answer's 32. Oh, that wasn't bad, that first paper. <laughs>